Hello guys. Most of the coders think learning CPT coding is very difficult as well as learning CPT surgery coding is very very difficult. It's not at all true. If you know how to find the keywords in the CPT code description, it's very very easy. So in this session, I am going to teach you how to find keywords in the CPT code description. So our topic is keywords to understand CPT codes correctly. So please watch, like, comment, share and subscribe Vascoder 21 if you are visiting for the first time. While reading the CPT code, we will find number of keywords but we don't know what are the keywords in order to find the correct CPT code. So here we are going to see few keywords which will help you to understand the CPT code properly as well as you can code the operative report properly using these keywords. So first keyword we are going to see is quantity. So basically our CPT code descriptions are having quantity in their description. If you want to check quantity keywords, so you need to check each, each separate, each additional and single, multiple, any number. So these keywords we are going to see using the CPT code examples. So here we will check 10005 as well as add on code 10006. So our 10005 is fine needle aspiration biopsy including ultrasound guidance first lesion. So next 10006 is for each additional lesion. So here you need to understand the code description properly. So if you want to code first lesion you need to use 10005. So if you want to use 10006 is, so you need to think like that, fine needle aspiration biopsy including ultrasound guidance each additional lesion. So you need to consider 10006 after first lesion. So here you need to code each and every lesion separately. For example, if the physician performs FNA of including ultrasound guidance, for example 10 lesions, so you need to code first lesion as primary code which is 10005 and you need to code 91006. Why means here 91006 code description is having each additional lesion. So here remaining 9 you need to use 9 CPT codes which are 10006. And also we are having one guideline here use 10006 in conjunction with 10005. So as all of us know 10005 is the primary code for first lesion we will use 10005 and 10006 is add on code which we need to use for additional lesions. So in this scenario one most important thing you need to remember is if the code description is having each additional lesion you need to code each additional lesion based on the quantity in the operative report. And here our another keyword is single and multiple or any number. So for this keyword we will use 10060 and 10061. So here our keyword is single. So incision and drainage of abscess Example, carbuncle, separate to hydradenitis, cutaneous or subcutaneous abscess, cyst, paruncle or peronychia. So simple or single. So if you want to code IND of abscess, if it is or if you are going to do it for only single abscess, you need to code 10060. For example, patient is having 10 abscess. Here you will not code 10060 10 times. Here you need to code 10061 one time. Why means 10061 code description is having incision and drainage of abscess, carbuncle, separatory hydradenitis, cutaneous or subcutaneous abscess, cyst, paruncle or peronychia, complicated or multiple. As 10061 is not a add on code, you can code 10061 directly without using 10060. So in this scenario, you need to use the most important keyword is single or multiple. If you are going to do IND of abscess for single 
app says you need to code 10060 if you want to code ind of app says like 10 or more, more than one app says you need to code 10061 so here our keyword is single and multiple so here our another keyword is any number so for this any number we will take 11719 trimming of non dystrophic nails any number so irrespective of number you will code 11719 trimming of non dystrophic nail so whether it is one or more than one you will code 11719 if you want to code for trimming of non dystrophic nails here our keyword is any number irrespective of number you will code 11719 for trimming of non dystrophic nails so this is the keyword in this code so, so far we have learned CPT code uh, keyword based on quantity. So, now we will learn CPT code keyword based on severity. So, here we are having simple, complicated and extensive. So, if you see pilonidal cyst excision, we are having three variants. Excision of pilonidal cyst or sinus simple, excision of pilonidal cyst or sinus extensive, Excision of pilonidal cyst or sinus complicated. So, based on your operative report, you need to decide whether the pilonidal cyst is simple or extensive or complicated. So, here our keyword is severity. So, simple means here physician will perform the simple incision and he will remove the uh, like pilonidal cyst. And extensive, it is not that simple like simple. So, it is extensive. So, complicated means if the patient is having multiple pilonidal cyst and if the physician use any packing after the excision, any graft, that time you can code it as complicated pilonidal cyst excision. So, here our keywords are simple, extensive and complicated based on severity. So, our next keyword in order to understand the CPT code properly, inclusive. So, with or without. So, means our code descriptions are having with or without. So, now we will check that example scenario here. So, for inclusive keyword or without keyword, we will check 20600 as well as 20604. So, here atherosynthesis, aspiration and our rejection, small joint or bursa, fingers and toes, without ultrasound guidance. So, in 20600, our keyword is without. For example, if you take 20604, atherosynthesis, aspiration and or rejection, small joint or bursa, fingers or toes with ultrasound guidance with permanent recording and reporting. So, basically, in 20600, our keyword is without. So, here physician is not using the ultrasound. For example, if you take 20604, our keyword is with. So, here physician is using the ultrasound in order to perform the atherosynthesis. So, here our keywords are without and with. These are comes under inclusive keyword. Next, our code keyword is site. So, based on the site, we need to check our CPT code description. So, we will see here 31625. For example, if you take 31625, its code description is bronchoscopy, rigid or flexible, including fluoroscopic guidance when performed with bronchiolar endobronchial biopsy, singular multiple sites. So, basically, if the physician performs only one biopsy also, you will code 31625. If the physician performs more than one biopsy also, you will, uh, you will code 31625. So, here our keywords in order to code properly are single or multiple sites. So, here you need to check how many sites physician is performing the biopsy. Irrespective of sites, you can code this code, whether it is single or multiple. So, while learning CPT code description correctly, so our another keyword is size. So, based on small, medium and large. For example, for the small, medium, large bladder tumors. So, if you see here, 5234, our keyword is small, 5235, our keyword is medium, 52240, our keyword is large. So, cystorithroscopy with fulguration and a resection of small bladder tumor. 
5235 medium bladder tumor 5240 large bladder tumor so if you don't understand how to code the cpt operative procedure report you need to check these keywords in operative report whether physician is telling small tumor medium tumor or large tumor so before that you need to remember that we are having three codes in order to code cystoethroscopy with fulguration of bladder tumor so here our keywords are small medium and large so while learning cpt code description correctly our next keyword is depth deep skin subcutaneous so basically this depth concept most of the time we can see in debridement codes first we are having subcutaneous level debridement next we are having muscle level debridement next we are having bone level debridement so based on the depth we need to code and we need to understand the cpt code so here our keyword is depth whether physician is telling deep skin level or subcutaneous level so in order to code or understand cpt code properly our next keyword is method so here we need to check whether physician is performing incision excision or biopsy in the code description so if you see here 21011 excision tumor soft tissue of face or skull subcutaneous less than 2 cm so here our keyword is excision so if you want to code 21011 physician must excise the tumor from the soft tissue of face or scalp subcutaneous less than 2 cm thanks for visiting fast coder 21 i hope this session is very useful for you in order to understand the cpt code description as well as in order to code the operative report properly so if anyone looking for same day surgery training cpc training or cpme training please contact us at Vincent Medical Coder at the rate of gmail dot com for private medical coding training. And also, if you like this session, please click on like button in order to motivate and in order to create more videos for you.